Cheryl Creed says her battle with breast cancer has changed her perspective on many things, including her diet. Instead of doing what's easy at mealtime, Cheryl's learned to do what's best. The proper way to cook, what to eat, what not to eat, uh, just, uh, just different recipes, things to try to keep your meals interesting. To do that, Cheryl often eats foods from this garden, one planted and maintained by cancer patients just like her. It was an idea cultivated by Dr. Stephen Clinton of Ohio State's James Cancer Hospital, who says these two acres yield just as many life lessons as fresh foods. That experience with cancer can be turned into a very teachable moment. It's a time where folks really do reevaluate their lifestyle, their diet, nutrition. Hoping to capitalize on that teachable moment, Clinton is using this garden to stress to cancer patients the importance of fruits and vegetables. And if he has his way, these foods will soon be engineered to become highly concentrated cancer fighters. We want to create the fruit or vegetable that has the most possible anti-cancer activity. So Clinton is working with food scientists at Ohio State to crossbreed foods with potent nutrients, like tomatoes with extra lycopene to help fight prostate cancer, or supercharged black raspberries, which have been shown to fight oral and colon cancers. The idea is to take the best of what grows here and make it even more potent here. Every step of the way, from the farmer's gate to the consumer's plate, is an area for research with our agricultural scientists. At Ohio State's James Cancer Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.